everyone, it's me X Canadensis, and today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of the Bratz Rock Angels Roxy reproduction doll that was produced for the 20 years collection and I wasn't actually planning on getting any of these dolls because I already have Sasha, Chloe, Yasmin, and Jade from Rock Angels and they all have at least one of their outfits so I was content with just waiting until a vintage Roxy entered my life and I wasn't going to go out of my way to get any of the other ones. It would be cool to have their outfits but I don't know. I already have the original, so I wasn't going to go out of my way to get these, but I found this doll for $25 at a store called Dirt Cheap, which basically stocks returns. So for some reason, this doll got returned and somehow ended up at my local Dirt Cheap, so that was really exciting. And I'm really excited about her. I think this one's really pretty. Um, I know there's some face issues with them. I don't mind the new screenings, actually, if they're placed correctly. I think they're actually really beautiful and well done. I know they're different, but I don't really mind. I think they're pretty faithful, and I think they did a good job. And I think mine looks pretty good. I don't, I'm not being like, oh my god, this is the most beautiful Rock Angels Roxy ever. No, I just think she's really cute. Um, and I'm happy with her, and that's what matters. So now you get a review that you probably wouldn't have seen otherwise. Let's get Roxy out of the box. If you end up with this doll and need to unbox her, don't open from the bottom because you might cut the poster. Thankfully mine was fine, but you have to open from the top anyway because it gets stuck at the top, so you might as well just start there. Um, and then you just have to cut a bunch of ties, and it's that simple. So, Or you could just pull all the tape off the back, but I don't know, that takes forever and I don't like doing it. So in the 10 minutes since I've unboxed this doll, I have completely changed my mind on these. These are amazing. I should have known I'd feel that way because the 2001 original doll reproductions from last year were also spectacular. But this doll, wow, she's glorious. It's really interesting to be able to hold in your hands a really faithful reproduction of a doll who came out so long ago who is so detailed. And it's really difficult to find these complete with all of their stuff now. So even if you're a vintage collector and you're not interested in having reproductions, being able to get all of the clothing at this price is unbeatable. And the little microphone stand and the actual stand for the doll, like I'm, I'm very impressed. I would have honestly most likely picked up at least Roxy. I was planning to because Roxy is the one that I'm missing from my Rock Angels set. So it was really serendipitous that she showed up at my, um, at my store. Just that it was really lucky she was the only one there. Um, I just never saw these in stores and I generally, especially with new product, really like to pick them up new in store. I like the experience of it. I like to be able to look at the doll before I buy her, especially with these dolls who were having a lot of defects when they came out. So I'm really, um... I'm really excited that I was able to get her and hopefully I can get a hold of a few more. I've completely changed my mind, but if she's the only one I end up getting, I'm more than happy with her as well. Um, I've also held the Sweetheart Megan in my hands before and I'm definitely planning on picking her up soon too because that doll as well is just phenomenal. Oh my gosh, my friend, um, I miss her so much, back in Buffalo actually had that doll and I got to play with her a little bit. Um, so this is what Roxy looks like. We'll go all the way down. And she comes with so many accessories, which we should expect for brats. I, like, I already knew that going in. So she comes with an extra outfit. So this is her second outfit. She comes with sunglasses, a phone, some makeup, a bunch of bracelets, a necklace, and some earrings, which are going to be indispensable in accessorizing my original Bratz dolls. She comes with a star comb, of course, which I love holding these in my hand. Like, you'd think this would be uncomfortable, but it genuinely is comfortable. Um, and then she also comes with the Rock Angels poster. I only have a few of these original posters, so it's really exciting to have one. And it's a poster, you know, it's just a printout. So this is just a brand new one. So cool. So this is the Rock Angels poster with everybody on it. Um, hopefully I can find a spot to display this in my doll room. Probably just behind wherever I display the brats, because this is so cool. Look at them. Yes, this is great. I'm so excited about this. All right, so now let's get all of this stuff out of the way so that we can look at Roxy up close. If you guys have been following the release of these reproduction dolls, you would you may have heard that there were issues with the faces of the original Sasha and Roxy dolls. So people weren't happy with them. They looked weird. There were a lot of issues with the eyes being misplaced. So MGA actually... I don't know if they recalled them, but they at least stopped production of those and switched pretty quickly over to updated Roxy and Sasha dolls. So Roxy and Sasha ended up being really hard to find in stores. If your stores even stocked Bratz Rock Angels, because mine certainly didn't. I don't know what stores did. Um, but it seems like this is an updated one. And it's interesting that I found her at all because my store does not stock the Rock Angels, at least not that I've seen. So um, it's very interesting. And I think she's really, really beautiful. I'm impressed too, because I have a bunch of the 
you know, like designer collabs that Bratz has done. I don't know why I put that in air quotes. They are designer collabs that Bratz has done recently. Like the cult Gaia Felicia, the, she's kind of a, I don't know what to call her. Is she a designer collab? I don't know. She comes with the cult Gaia bracelet. Anyway, um, and the GCDS Bratz, they have really shiny eyes, but this doll's eyes are substantially less shiny. And that's one of my biggest doll pet peeves. So I'm actually really impressed that her eyes aren't super shiny. Like I'm very grateful. Um, that was one of the things that was keeping me from buying these was that I thought the faces would be super shiny. So it is really awesome that they are not. Um, her mole is a bit uh, less pigmented than I would think it's supposed to be. It's kind of orange, but maybe I'm just misremembering how it looks on the actual Bratz dolls. My, or the original Bratz dolls, I should say. These are also Bratz dolls. Um, my Bratz dolls are still in storage in the other room until I have shelves for them. Um, she has a really nice makeup application. So it looks like her eyes are a one-piece stamp, which is fine. And then it looks like they actually did an extra paint layer of glitter above it. And I think it looks really good. And I love the dimensionality of it. And her eyebrows are, they're kind of a strange color for Roxy, but this is probably faithful to the Rock Angels dolls. They're basically my hair color. They're light brown um, while she has like red and brown and black streaks that are very different, but I think it looks good overall. Uh Roxy has hoop earrings on as well. They are made out of a nice plated material, so it looks metallic, which I love, and they are hoops attached to posts. And she has a snakeskin cap, which is really well done. Mine was a bit pushed in right here, and I'm not sure if that's on purpose, so I pushed it back out. Um, and I cut a few of the ties. It is sewn to her head, and you can leave it sewn to her head with just little plastic ties like this. I do want to keep it sewn to the head, but I also wanted to show you guys the rooting pattern. So this is what the hair looks like. We've got a big black stripe here, red, and then red in the back again and the rooting. The hair is really nice. I don't know if it's saran. You guys are gonna have to help me out with that one because it's crimped so the texture is very different but it's really really nice. Like I've had a lot of dolls with crimped hair um, that have come out in the past 10 years, specifically the Electrified Monster High dolls that I've hated how they felt and it's because they were polypropylene. Uh, but this hair it feels different but it could just be fooling me. I really like it though and I don't know what the original Rock Angels Roxy had but I imagine it's at least similar to this. But I prefer this even to Daphne's, uh, Daphne from Rainbow High. Her crimped hair um, bothers me, so this is a lot nicer. She does have some hair gel, unfortunately, in the front that I'm going to have to wash out, which hopefully will not influence the rest of the crimps because I think they look really, really nice. As you can see, like certain areas are more crimped than others, and I really like how it looks. Um, and now let's check out that rooting pattern because that's why we took the hat off. And pretty good. Pretty standard. Very, very, well... I'm saying pretty standard, but that's for a Bratz doll. This is a very full rooting pattern, especially for how um, thick these dolls' heads are. And she does have a middle part, which is really good. So now I'm going to slip the hat back on. I'm just leaving the ties in because, like, I'm not planning on ever taking the hat off, even if she wears her second outfit. So, um, yeah. All right. Now we need to move the camera because we are just looking at... Oh, this is so cute, actually. Um, we need to move the camera so that we can check out the her original outfit. Bratz dolls have such impressive detailed outfits that, to me, it's really impressive that they've managed to pull it off in modern day at a relatively similar price point, especially if you account for inflation. Um, these dolls are pretty expensive at a retail cost of around $36.99. That is pretty expensive for a doll, but considering what you're getting and comparing these dolls to the originals and the price difference, it's actually not atrocious, at least in my opinion, but that's up to the individual, of course. Um, I'm just really impressed that they they very faithfully have reproduced a lot of these outfit pieces. And I don't have the originals again, so I can't do a one-to-one -one comparison, but they feel and look very, very similar to me. And I have over 100 original Bratz dolls, and they feel very consistent. So I think that it's really cool that you can display this doll next to the others, and it's not going to be immediately like, oh my god, what is that weird-looking, like, bootleg-looking one, you know? They overall do um, display nicely with the others. Like I have my 2001 reproductions next to my real 2001 dolls and it's not immediately obvious except with Chloe. Anyway, she has this black pleather material jacket. I do think this is that material that they use back in the day that peels, so I hope that I'm wrong. It does feel slightly different. Um, it's got really nice white decorative thread, zipper, um, zipper tracks, zipper pulls, all really nice and sewn on. There's zipper tracks here. There's a real functioning buckle here, which is actually how you take the jacket off. There's no Velcro, as you can see. And there's darts. I really like the construction of this piece. I think it's really nice, but we need to undo the buckle. So let's see how difficult this is for my big adult hand. Well, my hands aren't really that big, but compared to a kid's hands, they are. Um, 
Maybe it is actually Velcro. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm an idiot. It's Velcro. Um, Velcro, it just had a little plastic tie that was fooling me. <laughs> I was like, why is the buckle not working? Okay. Anyways, she does have a guitar that she's wearing crossbody that we have to move in order to take the jacket off. So let's take that off. And when we get it off, we can look at her shirt to her first outfit. And it's this ripped up t-shirt. It's not particularly hemmed, but I'm not sure if the originals were either. Um, I will say the fit of this is a bit strange, specifically with this sleeve. The other sleeve is kind of a one piece and then they've attached that sleeve. But it, again, this is probably consistent with the original, which is why they did it this way. I don't know, but it looks overall pretty nice. I like the ripped parts a lot and the the way they haven't hemmed it makes it look a little bit more torn up, which is what they're going for. And it just has rock angels printed on and we have a little belly button ring. It's just a little rhinestone, very, very cute. I used to, with my little patch up toys specifically when I was younger, I would always put rhinestones on their faces and stuff to be little face jewelry. So I always love when there's little rhinestone accessories on dolls because it reminds me of when I used to do that. Um, oh, her, her body feels different. I don't, I don't know how to describe this. It's like, huh. It's like jellier feeling, kind of like a Gumby toy, but obviously it's not articulating like a Gumby. Interesting. I don't know what's going on there. Now I'm going to pull her guitar back up so we can look at it. I can't get over the body feel. That's so odd. Her guitar is on a snakeskin strap that pulls in from the hat and also the trim on the pants that we haven't gotten to yet. Um, and it is not removable, but you could just cut it or take this little panel off the back and get it off that way. And it's pretty nice. It's keeping it on the doll well, and you can just kind of take it off um, upward or downward. It's pretty loose, so it's pretty easy to do so. And the guitar is a really nice uh, just accessory. It's got lots of painted details, gets the job done. I like the shape of it. Very rock star. It's cute. Um, so now, as stated, we can just take this right off the doll, and we are going to look at her pants now. So... Roxy is wearing jeans, which I love. Bratz dolls, there were so many that came with jeans and it makes identifying them a pain, but like I love dolls with jeans and I feel like, especially now, it's pretty rare to see a doll wearing jeans, which is a bit odd. Maybe they're out of trend or something and I just haven't caught on, but um, it's very interesting to me. Um, as you can see, the trim down the side of the pants on both sides is actually that snakeskin pleather material again. And there's a little split at the bottom to make way for the shoes so that you can see the detail on the shoe. And um, I really like, I really like that. It helps these jeans stand out and it, it looks really cute. And the jeans are very much like a very realistic textile, just like uh, denim. I know it's not actually denim, but the way the white threads um, in the weave that created the fabric, like, look is very similar to the way the jeans look which is so cool and then if we look sorry i'm having a bit of trouble with the lighting if we look on the back we can see that the belt is attached so it is a permanently attached piece and it is that snakeskin material again it's got a little metallic buckle it's not actually metal it's just that plated plastic material like the earrings and little black pleather ribbon in the middle of the belt. And then if we move all the way down, we can look at her shoes, which are, um, I suppose they're supposed to also be like a snake skin. They've got that texture to them, but they are a completely different color. They're more of a cream color. Not the biggest fan of these particular shoes. I like the other Rock Angel shoes a lot more. They have a button right there. It's a very nice um, paint actually though on that button. I really like it, but they're undetailed other than that. And they have black soles and they have the holes like all the original, most of the original Brad shoes have um, so that they can fit in the play sets. And I did not know that the Rock Angel stands use the holes, um, use the pegs for the shoe holes. Like that's really cool. Um, and now I'm desperately wishing that MGA would just release a bunch of these stands in a pack for me because I really don't like putting Bratz dolls in any other stands because they have such a specific shape to them that no other doll stand really works except Monster High. Um, Monster High kind of works, but it's still not perfect. Um, so I really wish they would release this stand. But anyway, it's really nice. It says Rock Angels on the front. Might just do some resin experimentation and see if I can make one of these stands of my own. And the design on the stand is really nice too. It's kind of shield shaped and it's got all this little fun filigree stuff all around and it's very very reflective as you can see um maybe i scratched it up i used my very 
soft t-shirt to try to wipe off some of the fingerprints for you guys and I think I scratched it up but that's fine I'm not gonna be looking at that part ever um this is a very cute piece as well and I forgot to show you guys the microphone stand so we are going to move into that now well let's look at the bottom first so the bottom is kind of annoying because it's not actually um I don't know it's very loose and stuff but I think it's because the bottom is made out of the same material as the rest and it should probably be a bit heavier so this just flies across the room sometimes it's fun but I love that it has all the different colors and it's fully plated that is really really nice um, as you can see and then the microphone which I love that she has a microphone stand because brats can't hold their accessories um, unless you use rubber bands and this is what the microphone looks like really really nice accessory i love that it is plated to look metallic like this it's really really well done the execution on this is awesome love it all right so now we have a second outfit to try on so i'm going to put this on the doll and i will be right back roxy is now wearing her second outfit and we are taking the sunglasses off right away they look foul on her i feel bad putting them on her face because they look so bad um this is a problem with sunglasses and glasses in general these need to go past your face um like the edges of the frame so i'm just gonna take these right off but i'm sure these are faithful to the original again i'm just not a fan um but they might look good on other dolls anyway um i also have another huge complaint and i think this is related to the size of the post of the earrings these don't stay in and they flop around um which i have these earrings from the original dolls and they don't do this so it's a bit odd they don't really stay in i think it's because the posts of these earrings are larger um so when these were in for an extended period of time, even if they're just marginally larger, they have stretched the ears to that size. Um, these stay in just fine, but the red ones are not, which is a shame because I actually prefer the red ones. So hopefully the red ones work well on vintage Bratz dolls because I do need these earrings for some of my vintage ones, but I don't know. Oh, also I was just redressing my doll and I realized that the fabric on the hat is actually identical to the one that Heather Grace in from Rainbow High uses, so that's kind of fun. Um, just thought I'd share since I noticed it. Um, all right, anyway, let's move to the actual second outfit. Uh, so she comes with four pieces of jewelry. She had, well, other than the earrings, she has a necklace and three bracelets. I put one bracelet here and two over there. I really like these bracelets. I loved how Brad Stalls always came with like fun little extra accessories like that. Even though the main outfit wasn't even supposed to have all of this jewelry, they just decided to include them. And I really appreciate that. It really helps, um make these dolls stand out and make the outfits so much more cohesive and I really love it. I do think that that necklace does not go with that shirt because the shirt has kind of a high neck to it and it's um, got that like ribbed knit fabric so it's very thick so the necklace lays strange but I do really like the necklace and all of this um, jewelry is plated which I really really like. Sorry I bumped the microphone. And then she has a pleather skirt. Unfortunately the white back of the pleather is showing the lining and then also this material is worrying like this feels like the type of material that might peel eventually so i do worry about it and then she does not come with a second pair of shoes she is wearing her original shoes here um which i don't super like with this outfit in particular and then she has this cute oh i should drop it this little cell phone which is such a nice accessory it's red it's made out of that fun plated metallic -y looking material and it's a flip phone which is probably fun for kids today who just randomly got this doll um, very fun. My first phone was extremely similar looking to this. And then this one is some makeup and Brad's makeup always blew me away because the caps come off. Like, how fun is that? To my scenes credit, the makeup also had removable caps a lot of the time. All right, so now... All right, so that's it for the review. If you just wanted to see the doll and you want to call it a day, then goodbye. I will see you next time. But now we're going to get into some final thoughts. I'm really impressed. Uh, I did not expect to be this impressed. I knew that she would be, you know, a Bratz doll, um, a reproduction Bratz doll, and that's about it. But I'm really impressed with the attention to detail, all of the um, really accurate materials that they used. I do worry about the two pleather pieces, the two big pleather pieces, I should say. Um, I worry about these possibly peeling over time. The thing that causes the peeling is that this material is somehow adhered to this lining material and over time if you stretch it or just in general it'll start to separate and then peel like an old couch and it's gross and there's nothing you can do to stop it you can do things to kind of prevent it kind of but not really sometimes it happens to new in box dolls so it's not even something that the owner does all the time um so it's a real shame 
Um, so I do worry that possibly these are the same material because Bratz dolls are actively deteriorating because of this. So I really hope that I'm wrong, but there's no way to know until a decade or two decades from now when things start peeling. Um, I really like this doll. I really, really like her. I don't think she's going to be the, oh, well, I can't find the original, so I'm going to sit on this reproduction until I can find the original. No, like, I really, really like her. And I think the clothes are really really impressive i'm sure they're different enough where you can tell that they're not the reproduction clothes or sorry not the original clothes but they're pretty good the one piece that i'm not 100 percent satisfied with is this piece just because i think the way the sleeve is sewn on is a bit confusing and it fits a little funny but other than that like it looks fantastic um i'm i'm impressed i'm very impressed i think the these dolls being on the shelf right now is very fun and interesting and people who just stumble upon them and end up with them that don't know the history of Bratz are going to be um, introduced to them with a really faithful and well done doll and I think that the 2001 dolls have been that way as well. I've had two separate instances where I've seen parents getting really excited with either their friend in one case or their kid in another case about seeing the dolls that they had as a kid again and picking them up um, either for their kid or for themselves depending on the situation that I am referring to because there were two um and it's just so cool I, these are really special and I think MGA is doing a wonderful job with them I can't wait to see more I in general am pretty salty that they're mostly sticking to reproductions because I always prefer new things even if they're not my taste I prefer to see like new things being done with the IP new life being breathed into it but when the reproductions are this good I can't really be mad at it but I would still prefer to see new playline brat stalls instead of only designers occasionally, you know? Uh, I think Bratz, I think MGA has competent designers and access to competent designers where they could produce good playline Bratz like the originals and they don't have to just rely on doing reproductions. But if that's what they think is the best route to go, then I guess that's how it's going to be, which um, is a bit sad for me, but they're still really beautiful dolls and I will continue to add them to my collection over time because I think they're really nice. I will say that I wish Sweetheart Megan is articulated, which is so cool because Bratz dolls generally are not. There's not a lot of Bratz dolls that came articulated and I know there's, I know there's lines of Bratz dolls that originally came articulated, but mostly there's not. So it's really fun to see them articulated and that makes the reproduction, even for people who have the original, that makes the reproduction enticing because oh I get this cool articulated body so it's like a different experience and Sweetheart Megan has that articulated body so she's a lot more enticing to me than the Rock Angels or the 2001 reproductions or the uh, I don't know if the coming formal funk reproductions are articulated I hope that they are um or sorry they're not formal funk oh my gosh the um Girls Night Out reproductions my bad formal funk is not getting reproductions that I know of it's Girls Night Out I'm so sorry I don't know if they're gonna be articulated if they are then 100% sold day one I will grab them but otherwise like um, I'll be a bit on the fence because I already have all of Formal Funk but one and I mostly have their outfits complete too so it's like eh. Um, but if they add that extra spice to them, sold. I will be buying them. <laughs> um, also, I really hope that um, a whole new generation of people is introduced. Ev kids from a new age group that did not get to experience Bratz when they were kids and people who just did not know Bratz when they were kids who are getting introduced to the dolls now. I really hope they all go listen to the song So Good because it is so good. That song is ridiculous. I love it. it like ridiculous in the best way, like unbelievably good. Um, so I hope everybody goes and listens to that. I'm serious. Like after this video, that is your homework assignment. Please go listen to the song. Um, it will join your main playlist. It is um, absurdly good for a doll song. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for this video. I'd love to know what you guys think of these dolls if you picked them up, and especially if you're an original Bratz collector. I started collecting Bratz last, early last year or late 2020. I don't 100% remember exactly when I started. Um, and I have a lot of the original ones. When I was a kid, I had two of the original ones. My mom was not really into them, so I didn't end up with them. And later in my life, when I was around 10, I ended up with a few more from thrift stores. And I always respected them and thought, that, thought they were interesting, but I didn't really get it. So when I started collecting them early last year, I just fell in love. Um, and I really think Bratz dolls are special. Um, and they're just, they're just really, really amazing dolls. And I really wish that they would come back. Although there's lots of dolls um, that Bratz has pat passed the torch to. Rainbow High, OMG, like, MGA is going to con consistently create amazing dolls that, are, and the entire doll industry is going to continue to be inspired by Bratz and create amazing dolls in their honor, but I would love to see Bratz come back and, you know, 
see what they could offer to a new generation with new dolls. But regardless, I'm very grateful we're getting anything from the Bratz brand at all, to be honest, because I really like them and I think this doll is great. And yeah, that's it for this video. Um, let me know if you'd like to see more of these because I am planning to buy more of these dolls at some point down the line. I did pre-order the Pride 2-pack, but I have no idea when that will be coming. Uh, Amazon is not being helpful with that, but hopefully someday. <laughs> um, and then if I can snag any more of these Rock Angels in stores, I hopefully will. I need to start checking Targets in other cities because they are not showing up anywhere that I have lived. <laughs> and then um, Sweetheart Megan I'm definitely planning on getting soon because I really like her. And I have also held the original in my hands. My friend ordered one to my house because he, he lives in another country, so he'll order things from eBay and I ship them to him. Um, so I've held the original Sweetheart Megan as well, and she's really, really good. But I actually like the reproduction just as much, so I will be more than happy with the reproduction one for the foreseeable future. Anyway, I'm going to go because I'm just rambling at this point. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye!